I've always uh, considered the fact that I wrote poetry more than I did anything else, and secretly inside I felt, you know, yeah, I'm a poet, but I don't like the idea of... I mean, now I have to accept being called a poet, but uh, it's a very... You know, being called anything is... Uh, is a responsibility right away, you know? And sometimes I feel like, wow, you know, being a poet's very important. And, you know, being an active poet in society is really important, which most of us who write poetry is not. And there's too many of us doing these things, although it's better than if we were murderers or rapists. Uh, um, I forgot the question. I lost my hearing, listened for it on the floor among the beer stains and sticky soles. I lost my seeing, groped around in the dark for it somewhere between the bar and the men's room. I lost my voice, so I now speak to you in messages. I lost my sense of smell, I lost my touch, so you must play for me soft and gentle. I lost my way, so you must guide me with your song. I didn't come to New York, I was born in New York. I was born in Brooklyn. Uh, it was always my dream, oddly enough, to either live in downtown Manhattan or uh, in Paris. Uh, I hung out in the village when I was, started hanging out in the village when I was 14 or 15 years old, and uh, it was about the same time I got into drugs and jazz. Um, and uh, I've been living in this apartment way, way over 30 years, and that's uh, because I can't afford to move or be anywhere else. Floating out against the paddled, pillowed wall like the mirror of ballet itself, singing in a deep, strong key, unlocking over and over and over again to come to rest again, again and again and again and again. Somewhere near the end, not knowing why the interruption or where I left my hat. But you burn, you burn the chair I sit in. I know people find it hard to believe and I just wrote another piece about this. I was a very shy and quiet guy, you know. I went and got stoned a lot in the village. I mean, when I was with my friends in the village, we weren't quiet. We'd sit, we'd sit on, uh, you know, on Manetta Lane or somewhere, or if we were in the East Village, and we'd get, you know, fucked up out of our minds, and we'd have fun. And sometimes I would sing songs to them all night. And uh, you know, the more stoned I got, the looser I got. But uh, you know, and then for a short period, I would hang out with weirdos like Gregory Corso or Harry Smith, and get stoned with them. And I was more quiet with them because they were like, ah, you know, people I, I idolized. But um, when I went to gigs, I was really quiet. Act. Act. Kerouac rhymes with Pontiac. Kerouac. Recognition, art, politics, religion, even God has a desire to be recognized. Yesterday chases me back to the master's cunt The stations along the way lead me to absolute knowledge Absolute knowledge The city is no longer half empty The city is no longer half full It is just a city And it is my secret place And I shall keep it in here forever The first gig I ever did with music was when I was in a rehab center in the end of the 60s. There was a guy there named Bruce, a Jewish guy from Jersey who played flute. He was the first guy I actually did a gig with out in the country. Didn't happen again until about 1980. Rob Brown was maybe one of the first musicians I read with. We did a lot of gigs at this place called the Series Gallery. So he, he might be the first uh, musician of, of this group that we're all involved in and talk about a lot, the downtown group, that I read with. The most important thing to me about the music or the writing 
or any art form is if we can manage to be able to mix our insides with our outsides and where everything is kind of like uh, kind of a Lucretian or even what, you know, Creeley and the acid heads used to describe as where, you know, everything is a part of everything else, you know. So the flow of particles, no matter how solid we think we are, is always in the mix. And I think the, the I think to attain a perfect life and perfect art form, the mix should always... Uh, be inside and outside. The problem is we're also self-conscious and aware of of ourselves that uh, this mix doesn't always happen. I try, I try consciously and a lot of times unconsciously to uh, to achieve that with the work I'm creating. I travel to Giverny, to Giverny, to Giverny. I traveled to Giverney, to Giverney, to Giverney, to Giverny, to see what I can take back with me, to see what I 